Hello, hello everyone, Creature Princess here, and welcome to the raccoon... Ooh, keyboard, you're making weird sounds. The raccoon who lost their shape, created by Jason and Scuffy. Uh, WASD, or arrow keys for movement, space to interact, P to pause the game, press space to begin. Hi! People come in many different shapes. Literal shapes. Shapes with faces on them. Shape people. Many years ago, I discovered I had an ability. The ability to contact shape people who had died, their souls trapped forever in the shape person death realm. I'm a medium between the worlds of the living and the dead, but only for shape people. People who are literally large, flat, conscious shapes with faces on them and nothing else. This is my story. Oh, hey. This is like if Rocket Raccoon retired. This button sends in my next client via the state-funded shape people tube system. It is a network of tubes that shape people travel through to get pl to places because they do not have arms or legs. They are just shapes. Shall I press the button and send in my next client? Yes. Boop. I press it. Oh my god. A fucking face. Hey. Hello. I am a pentagon. Pentagons have five sides and five corners. Yes, hello. Good to meet you. Indeed. I am here because I need you to contact my beloved and recently dead friend, who is a circle. Yes, you heard me. A circle. You might wonder how pe someone with such an abundance of sides could be friends with someone who had none. It was a lot of work, but the circle finally understood the true superiority of sides and angles. Are you being, are you being shapist right now? <laughs> and thus they also came to understand the truth of their own inferior shape you sound like a ter I, I see I doubt that the reason I need to contact my dead sideless friend is because of a locked door I have discovered hidden between behind a bookshelf in their old library I would like you to ask them where I might find the key to this door can you do that for me can you complete this simple task sure very good. I have brought with me a personal item of theirs. A book. That is all you need to contact them, correct? A personal item that they owned? Uh, dead shape ghost. Good. Here's their personal item. Let me know when you know the location of the key. The fuck is this shit? I'm leaving. This is my summoning altar. I use it to summon the ghosts of shape people. Shape people are the only people who seem to turn into ghosts when they die. Sometimes I worry that it's because non-shaped people like myself do not have a soul. I think a lot about my own death. Shall I summon the dead shape person you talk to? F fuck it, go for it. Summon the shape ghost. Oh my god. Okay, this is pretty lit. <laughs> hey, circle guy. I'm turning up my volume a little bit. Sup. Oh, hello. I am a circle. But I'm sure you knew that. I wasn't expecting to be summoned today. How interesting. May I help you with something? A friend of yours hired me to summon you. They found a locked door in your old library and would like to know the location of the key. Which friend might you be referring to? A pentagon. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> ah, yes, my friend. Did they tell you all about the glory of angles and sides? Did they explain in great detail the perfection of their holy pentagon form? Please, tell them that the key is hidden behind the old wall clock that hangs on the other side of the library. Do you know what is behind the locked door? A canister of toxic gas, rigged to spray anyone who goes snooping around where they do not belong. Tell that pentagon that the great treasures hidden inside the room are theirs for the taking. Ha! Huh. Thank you for your information. Actually, there was one more thing. Have you happened upon any crescents during your time in the realm of the dead? No, not that I remember. Crescents are fairly rare as far as shape people go, so I am sure I would recall having seen one. Ah, well, thank you anyway. Alright, let's go get this guy gassed. Sup, you asshole. Have you discovered the location of the key? Yep, I'm telling you. Ah, uh, yes, I know of that clock. 
You have completed your task. I shall submit payment for your fee through the Shape Network payment system. Good day. Later. All my work for the day is done. Time to go home. Or I could just sleep at the office. Mm, I think I still have some ramen at home. If I get home and I don't have any ramen left, I'm going to be all torn up about it. There was no ramen. That's upsetting. Time for another case, I suppose. All I need to do is push that button. That's all I need to do. Shall I press the button and send in my next client? Do it. Beep boop. Here we go. He looks so constipated. Yes, hello, I am a square. Four points and four equal sides. It is very easy to remember what a square looks like, and that ease can be a small comfort in hard times. What a lovely office you have. I hate my office and also my life. That's an option. Thank you, thank you very much. I believe that I made the right choice coming to you. I can tell already. The reason I am in need of your services is that I very much want to send a message to a departed friend. A rectangle! We are very similar in many ways, as you might imagine. But not just in shape, in spirit as well. Oh, what a good friend they were. What a very good friend indeed. Uh, what message would you like me to give them? Oh yes, the message! I would like you to tell the rectangle. Tell them that I still think very dearly of them. Okay, I'll let them know. Wonderful, thank you very much. Here's a personal item of theirs to assist with the summoning. It's a letter I wrote many years ago telling them what a dear they are. They f framed it and put it on their nightstand. And they wrapped a bow around the frame. Thank you, this should work. I will let you know when the summoning is complete. I am so nervous. I hope they still think dearly of me. Alright, let's get lit. Let's get litty as a titty in here. Time to peek behind the veil of death once again. So I summon the dead shape person I need to talk to? Hell yeah, summon it. What's up? Wow, I've been summoned. How thrilling. I love your coat. How wonderful to be summoned by someone with such a delightful coat. For what purpose have I been brought back into the world of the living? A friend of yours hired me to give you a message. A friend? Oh my! Was it my square friend? This seems like the wonderful sort of thing they would do. Yes, it was indeed your square friend. Oh my god, I'm so excited! What was the message? They want you to know that they still think very dearly of you. Oh my god, yes! Yes, hooray! Can you re lay a reply for me? Can you tell them that I continue to think very dearly of them as well? Uh, sure. I'll go and let them know. Oh my god, thank you. Uh, yeah, no problem. It's very cash money of you, sir. Hello. Did you tell them? Oh, what voice was it? Did you tell them? Oh my, what did they say? I'm so excited to hear. They continue to think very dearly of you as well. That is amazing news. I knew it in my soul, but I'm so happy to hear it. Can you do me one more favor? Can you give them one more message for me? Sure, what is the message? Can you tell them? That I am certain we will be dear to each other forever. Can you tell them that for me? Sure. Thank you so much for your help. I am so excited for them to know how I feel. Hey, lady. Uh, your dude friend has another message. Wow, hello again. How did my square friend react when you told them about my continued dearness? They're certain your mutual dearness will last forever. Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel the same way. Tell them I feel the same way. Sure, we'll do. Oh, uh, one last thing. Do you know any crescents in the realm of the dead? Crescents? No, I don't think so. Why do you ask? I'm just looking for someone who I... Uh, never mind. Aw, uh, I wonder if it's like a close friend. Oh, no, I see the crescent. How do they react? I must know. They feel the same way. This is the happiest day of my life. Thank you so much for all your help, friend. I will send your payment and tip through the network. I hope you have a wonderful week in life. I find no satisfaction in my work anymore. Although I'm not sure if I ever really did. But it pays the bills. More often than not, it does not pay the bills. Can I just walk out of here? I still have work to do. I can't leave yet. I mean, I could leave. I want to leave, but I'm not going to leave. That's me. 
The world just keeps on spinning over and over again. Oh boy. So I press the button and set yes. Wait, let's do it. Oops, missed. Okay, one more time. Boop. There we go. Pressed it. Hey. Hey, I'm a triangle. Whatever. It's not a big deal. Who cares? You the summoner? Yes, I am the summoner. Good. I wanna like two places already, and they were both the wrong place. You're hard to find. Someone has the wrong address. You should look into that. But yeah, I need you to summon someone. A star. A big pointy star. You know what a star is, right? Yes. Good. I. Here's a thing of theirs. You need a thing, right? It's a sort of wallet thing, I guess. I guess it's just a regular wallet. Looks weird, though. You know, now that I'm spending a lot of time looking, it doesn't actually look that weird. Hey, I'm just used to seeing it. So yeah, that wallet. Here you go. This should work, thank you. Alright, great. Summon them and tell them the triangle says they're sorry. I wish I had, like, bigger words or whatever, but I don't think it matters. Sorry, it should be good enough. Eh. Let me know when it's all done, okay? I don't know why I gave him that voice. Doing this ritual feels exactly like you would expect touching death to feel. It's not a great feeling. Shall I summon the dead shape? Yes. Let's get lit. Ooh, that felt very weird. You're a raccoon, hello! I've heard of these summoning things, but I didn't expect one would happen to me. So, uh, what can I help you with? I was hired by a triangle to summon you and to let you know that they're sorry. Are you serious? They're sorry? They murdered me. They put a knife right in my shape face. Oh, uh, I did not know that. Wait a minute, what did they give you to bring me here? You need a personal item of mine, right? They gave me this, uh, wallet. What? That's the wallet they stole from me when they killed me. They killed me for that wallet. My perfect star face got stabbed for that thing. The gall. The absolute gall. Well, uh, that's the extent of summoning. They didn't have any of the meshes for you. Sorry about all this. Unbelievable. Tell them I hope all their angles get ripped off. Tell them I hope someone sandpapers away their terrible shape base. Okay. Hey, one last thing. Have you run to any crescents during your time in the death realm? What? No. I don't care. Go away, I'm done with this. I was just asking about crescents, man. I took a lot of work and I don't think people appreciate how complicated shape summoning can be. I could have gone to the beach today. <laughs> Me all day. Hey, so you're a murderer. Get the fuck out. Yeah, hey, did you tell them I'm sorry? figured as much. The past in the past though. Can't dwell on old mistakes. Had to put this behind me and now it's over. Thanks for your help or whatever. I left some cash on your desk. Later. I've been doing this for years and I've only met three or four shaped ghosts who have seen a crescent. And it has always been the wrong crescent. Not sure why I keep doing this. Because you have no other monetizable skills. That's rough. Another day, another button. What a life. Shall I press the button and send in my next client? Yep. Button has been pressed. Rejoice. Six sides, six points. I am a hexagon and I have arrived. You must be the summoner. I can tell because I was just looking at a photograph of you. I realize you are probably nervous dealing with a shape of m such mathematical elegance. Is there, if there is anything I can do to make you more comfortable, please let me know. Not having that face. Uh, thank you. That was very considerate. Of course. Before we begin, I have an important query. Quarry? Query? Quarry? I quer- You know what I mean. Can you summon any shape? For instance, can you summon shapes that have even more sides and points than I do? Yes, I can summon any deceased shape person, no matter the shape and no matter the number of sides or points. I can even summon shapes with no sides or points, such as circles. All that I need is an item that they owned and interacted with while alive. Ah, yes, I do have such an item. The shape I would like you to summon is a cross. Twelve sides, twelve points. Perfection. A chill flows through me just thinking about them and their glory. I must admit I am worried that I am not worthy of their acknowledgement. I am a ghastly shape in comparison. An abomination. I am six sides of trash and six points of garbage. Me, every day, bruh. Uh, I think 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> I think you're a great shape. I appreciate the sentiment, but the, these are things you cannot possibly understand. Anyway, here's the item you require. It is a rose which I have had pressed and preserved. It was thrown to me by the cross during one of their performances. They were a singer. Their music lifted me out of the darkest period of my life, and I owe them everything. I just... I want them to know. I'm sorry, this feels a bit silly now that I'm here. I will summon your shape with a face. Thank you, summoner. Is there a point where I can just, like, stop? Alright, let's do it. Here we go. Time to laugh in the face of shape death. Shall I sum- yep, go for it. The next one I do, I'm gonna insult them and see what happens. Oh, hey, it's you. Wow, it's been almost a year. Same coat, huh? Hey, Cross. How things been in the death realm? Just the usual sort of drama. My trio split up, so I'm looking to start a new group to sing with. Oh, I was briefly dating a Decacon. You can imagine how that was. They managed three dates before bringing up the perfection of ten gons over all other shapes. Huh, speaking of which... Just tell your client what you always tell them. The cross says that you too are a shape of worth and dignity. Did you know that I still get summoned at least once a week for this kind of thing? It's sweet, but it's also really depressing. Yeah. Well, thanks for your help. It was good to see you again, and sorry if I interrupted anything. Nah, I had nothing going on today. Oh hey, I ran into a crescent a month or two ago, but it wasn't the one you knew. Just wanted you to know that I'm still keeping an eye out. Thanks, cross. I appreciate it. No problem, raccoon. See you around. See ya, buddy. Love you. Kiss, kiss. Hey, what's up? Were you able to summon the cross? Did you give them my message? Yes, the cross appreciated your sentiments and wanted me to tell you that you are a shape of worth and dignity. How extraordinary. A shape of so many sides and points saying that it, it means so much. Thank you for your help. I will send you a payment right away through the network, of course. I must go now. I have a lot to think about. Extraordinary. I wonder what my life would be like had the fire never happened. If in a single night it hadn't consumed both a life and my crescent, and any item that would have let me contact them in a death realm. No use thinking about these things, and yet I cannot stop. I should treat myself to a pizza. The pizza place was already closed. It's a Sunday. Can I save this? I don't think I can save it, but we end this episode here, and then I will continue it and see what happens. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked this video, hit like. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Stay awesome, everyone. I love you. Bye-bye.